Tristan, it's happening, it's happening already. <laughs> scoop it and square off with my back leg. From here, I'm going to step backward and bow with my head, pulling this leg through my legs. So I'm going to step back, pull, and lower my upper body. From here, I'm going to drop in and immediately pressure the guard. I'm dropping my knee behind the hamstring and like pushing the knee down and then leaning heavily on this top frame. If I sit back, Tristan gets to choose whatever guard he wants or motion, so immediately I want to have like lots of pressure. I'm going to reach out for the collar. Now, if Tristan's framing here, I can grab the arm and then work my way up. Or sometimes you'll want... <laughs> Give me a frame. Okay. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> okay, so sometimes I can't reach the collar. I'm just going to fold the hand over, just roll, and then I can rein it into here. And I want a decent grip on this so I can pull Tristan in. So if he's pulling away from my tension, I'm actually compressing him into this little shape. That's going to help me keep this static so I can reach through and grab the pant leg. Okay, so this pant leg, I want to get a grip below the knee. So his knee is right here, like this. I want to get a grip below it, and I'm going to put my fist straight down into there, okay? Almost right at the top of his calf. My thumb is pointing out to my left here. I don't want to be up like this, because this foot can pop up and become a hook very easily. I want to be below the knee, and then punching this calf to the ground, right? So it's like hard to lift now. So I'm here, pressuring into this, pulling this, reaching around, catching below the knee, and punching this fist to the ground. Okay, if this foot's kind of hooked here, I'm gonna free it, and I'm gonna step sideways with that leg. So I'm gonna put all my weight on this leg of Tristan's. Give me that frame back, please. Here, I'm gonna step heavy, and take this knee all the way to the ground by going out this way, okay? Here, until that knee is on the ground, like this. Now I wanna move my body past this knee to get past the hip line right here. So I'm just gonna scoop my belly forward. I'm gonna choke up a little, get better grip, and I'm just gonna turn my wrist. I'm not trying to break Tristan's neck off, I don't need to. I'm just trying to misalign his head from his shoulders. And then I'm just gonna walk, bringing my chest nice and heavy, finish the pass and stretch Tristan up in here, okay? Once I've got him flat, my right hand that was on the leg comes to his hip, and I pop to knee on belly. Now this hand goes deep. I want to be able to see my whole hand on the other side of Tristan's body over here, okay? So it's just up right like this. I'm lifting his head with my elbow. So I'm actually using this part of my wrist to push his head up, okay? I want this, my forearm, to be pointed straight up. Okay, and this is gonna come in really important in a second. So I'm gonna use this to take my right hand, place my wrist, wrist right against the neck, and then feed my hand in. Don't grab the collar and then hope it's in the right spot. Place the wrist, feed the collar. Now, my forearm is upright, so it can turn with a very small radius. Because if it's like this, and I'm not lifting his head, getting my elbow around is really difficult here. So I lift his head, and then it just goes swoop, like this, right around. Now, you know, I want to make sure that this is on the shot here. So my wrist, my thumb is kind of on this side of his neck, closer to the middle than the ear, and I rotate. If you watch this part of my wrist right here, it's gonna roll down. And I'm not gonna stop until it's completely wound and this elbow has hit my other arm. So I'm here and I wind till my elbow hits my other arm. See how this thumb is kind of pointed up? It's like this inside the collar. Rotates around to here, okay? So I've got straight arms. Now from here, I'm gonna rotate back. I've actually leaned my shoulder back to make room for my arm so it can go straight completely. Now, as soon as I'm turning, I want to feel the pressure of my wrists starting to balance into Tristan's neck as I bring my shoulders over his. I'm not squeezing with my hands. They're very relaxed, just wedged in the knee. Okay? Now, you'll either get the tap there. I'll wait till Tristan has blood in his brain again. <laughs> Here, I roll around. Now, as I turn, if I need more pressure, I'm going to drive this knee to the ground, pull this knee in, and catch both my feet on Tristan's hips. My belly's gonna go up and forward. See how my wrist has cleared his face. I'm not choking like this. And I'm keeping my arms straight, holding with my feet, and pushing my belly in and leaning forward. That's pressure level two. Number three, I'm way out, still not tapping. I'm gonna collapse into my elbows here. Okay? 
But keep it going, we're just going to watch one more from the very start. So, I'm going to pop, step in, drive, pull down. Here, crowding right away. Collar, pushing on the knee, grabbing the leg, stepping out to the side. Deep, 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 till that knee is on the ground. Sliding past. I'm going to turn you a little bit. Lifting the head, not breaking his neck, but just stopping him from turning any further. And then pushing my chest towards his chest, around in a circle, to flatten him out. Hand to the hip, pop and rotate knee on belly, lift the head. Okay, my posture is upright, my elbow is pointing up. Place the right wrist, feed the hand, rotate on this vertical, straightening your arms as you lean back, feeling the tension in your wrists, sliding forward to here. If I need, I'm going mount and lean, or mount out and then collapsing in. Wake up! <laughs> He's fine. Okay? And our last two little variations. Once this grip is in, that becomes my dominant hand in the choke. I leave this one out. So we're here. And then if I get bumped over, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna go here. Well, either way. Now if I rock this way and I pull back, I rock right off, put my knee on the ground, wrist, clamp, and then close. Or, our last option, if this hand is kind of getting involved, I go thumb down here, and I rock off, and put my shoulder down on top of this while pulling this arm across my body. Okay, and then I drop my weight on that shoulder. Or, if that's stubborn, I take the arm and arm bar here. It's important that I come all the way, pulling this arm laterally, otherwise, as I go here, Tristan's just gonna go to his knees or rotate under, or arm bar me, which is bad too. So I'm gonna go here, and it's like right, pulled tight across the side here, okay? Yeah? That's section one. Let's do it. One, two.